I have been working in radio about 15 years on this show, about 10 years. And what I've learned about radio, uh, the genre of radio is it is tend to be the most segregated medium I've ever been through. Like country music plays country, pop plays pop. You know, uh, we, we play a specific kind of music. It's very, very segregated to say this. I remember when David Bowie died, the white guy who was running the station group at the time said we couldn't play David Bowie because it was out of format. So I understand that there is a certain amount of just like you can be. And, and the one thing about black radio that I, that I know to be consistent, black artists are not played on a lot of other types of formats. But a white soul artist can play on our formats. That's how they get to be big. You could be a Jack Harlow. You could be who is the kid that sang uh, uh, Ed Sheeran. That's how they can get big. Because a matter of fact, Elton John became Elton John. Hall and Oates became Hall and Oates. The Doobie Brothers became Doobie Brothers because the black radio uh, embrace them and then everybody else picked them up. So that is really what happens, right? It, it just generally goes one way. Generally, they can play songs on our format, but our artists generally can't play songs on their format unless they're big pop artists. Um, so when I hear John Snyder of Dukes of Hazard uh, kind of give a Beyonce a hard time for making a country song, uh, basically what he said is like the dog pissing all over the park. He was low key calling her the B word. So that's clearly what it was. And I used to like him. I remember we used to have the, the Dukes of Havre lunchbox. And now I would use him to hit that idiot in the head with it. It's, it's insane. But the reason art is art because it challenges convention. Now, I'm not the biggest Beyonce fan. Where I think she's very, very talented. It's just the music doesn't speak to me. It's a little, a little too anthony for me. But... She's an extremely talented woman and capable of doing any number of things. And that's what you want from art. Art isn't confined to a certain thing. And for a person who calls himself an expert in country music to not understand that black music, black uh, music, R&B, excuse me, um, gospel and the blues are the basis of every single genre of American music, every single one. As a matter of fact, they didn't know what to call it, so they called it race music, and then they segmented it out to all these places. So when a guy like that talks about an artist who wants to go into the, uh, where, where, where her people were the original people who started country music, like blues, <laughs> when blues music came out, what did white people have to be blue about? They ran everything, nobody could say anything. What were you sad about? But it's so funny because they have co-opted so much and stolen so much that they actually think it's theirs. They actually think that somebody is, is, is encroaching on the art form that they originate, which couldn't be further from the truth. Beyonce is testing her roots. She was born in Texas. She's still connected to Texas. She's wearing cowboy hats and boots. I remember all the, uh, uh, you know, when Shania Twain was out, black women loved her. You know, and so it's, it's ridiculous when I hear an old guy who's famous for riding around from the, running from the police on the Dukes of Havre, Hazard, now tell you he's an expert on country music. If he was, he would know that every single genre of American music, every single one, American music is black people. All of it. All of it. The, the American uh, uh, experiment, black people are the basis of every single, from rock to pop to country, all of it is from her. So Beyonce is not is not delving into something new. Beyonce is testing her roots. She's coming back to where she came from. And if you don't like it, then you need to understand, which is why I think a lot of people don't like history. A lot of people, particularly like those men, are trying to destroy history because it distorts the story they told themselves. Black music is American music. Country music is black music. So there's nothing unusual about a black artist singing the music that we that we originate. And you can get mad with your stupid ass car with the rebel flag. I can't believe I used to want a six million dollar I want a lunchbox with the Kings <laughs> with the Dukes of Hazard on it. And I used to root for them too. Can you imagine me rooting for a redneck man? Times have changed. That's a little note from the GED section got the Jazz Report coming up in fifteen minutes is the DL Hugo show.